Here is uh, tropical depression number 22. A lot of convection or showers and thunderstorms on the north side. This center is right here. It's going to be working its way up towards the north, taking that left-hand turn as we head towards Sunday, and they're expecting to get up the hurricane strength. Now it shoots towards the coast and then makes that turn again towards the north. Does not make landfall, but comes very close with winds coming back down to about 70 miles per hour and then moves off towards the north and east. Now once this gets a name, it looks like Beta will be the next name on the list. Uh, it will become a tropical storm beta again and then maybe work its way up towards the north and east. Now, this track is all over the place because we really don't have anything steering this. High pressures overhead, so it's kind of drifting or meandering through parts of the Gulf Coast. So expect this forecast to change. Expect this track to change as we go through the next several days. Right now, it looks like it'll stay south of us at least through the weekend into the first half of next week and then maybe work its way up towards us as we head towards maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, that's what it looks like right now. One thing I think we will definitely get from this thing is some rain right now, maybe about seven to 10 inches of rain if it stays on this track and it stays this slow through parts of the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll continue to watch it. Um, as we look at the models, they're kind of all over the place. They bring it close to the shore and then it's kind of spinning around. So once again, too early to tell exactly where it's going to go, how strong it's going to be. But right now it looks like indications are it's going to be close to the Texas coast and maybe getting close to southeast Texas towards the middle part of next week. Elsewhere out there into the tropics. We have Wilfred, which is uh, out here. Looks like it's going to be falling apart. Of course, we still have Teddy out there, a very strong hurricane, which should stay away from the U.S. And then we have more storms out towards our eastern part of the Atlantic that I don't think we're going to have to worry about at this point. If